Yeah, I, I guess Fuse versus Iceman was not sure. Oh my goodness, the wave lit. dash into Tipper. That's going to be able to take it right there. It was totally, in fact, Goku's favor for that entire first stock, and then just boom, right there. Bad DI on the Tipper. You're done. Going to get the up smash. Make it even. Bringing it back to even. Zero and zero, three and three. So, uh, I actually can't really think of a tournament set where Iceman has beaten Fat Goku. At least I, not not since he's gotten good. Yeah, uh, um, you know, Fat Goku for the longest time was a was a strong player before, but he wasn't the the force that he is now, uh, being guaranteed number one in uh, you know Oregon at this point. Um, so since then, he's he's shown strong prowess in, in defeating a lot of Washington players, which is really hard. But Iceman. He is like, playing and, the game right now. <laughs> the thing is, like, Iceman is a solid player. He is, but he has these moments where he just steps it up for, like, 10, 15 seconds and be like, all right, now I'm serious. Yeah. Now I'm 100%. And he'll just pull off some crazy stuff, things that are not, like, indicative of his skill level. And you're like, wait, you're, you're not supposed to be that good. <laughs> you just got to channel but, that 100% of the whole. time. <laughs> all right, yeah, very, very good spacing game going on right for now from both players. They're being pretty noncommittal. Man, perfect shield coming out on the up smash, but it pushes him a little too far. Yeah, just barely missed the SDI on the upper upper upper. So once again, Fat Goku trying to make it back to even right after losing a stock. Oh, very good from Iceman. Down air? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Real strong play right now from Iceman. Bread and butter Marth right there. Ooh, chain grab. He's in the very middle of battlefield, so it's, it's like it's FD at that point. Yeah, it's not it's not fun when that happens. And Steven missing an input, it looks it looks like, uh, right there. He had a chain, finished off with a backer, and then just didn't do anything after that. Yeah. So I've got to ask, with, with Battlefield, um, when it's Fox versus Marth, do you do you stay near the ledge to, or I mean, not the ledge, but the platforms to be able to stop the whole chain grab thing from happening or and give up stage control? Or do you retain stage control but maybe lose because of a chain grab? Well, it's like, Fox has superior movement. Like... Martha has easier movement, but if you're really good with Fox, you can just outmaneuver him. So you never want to give up neutral in that aspect. And if you DI well, you can get onto those platforms in a couple of throws. Yeah. I mean, like, after that, you're on a platform versus Marth, so it sucks. But, and, you know, you want to get it over as soon as possible. Nice jab, up smash. I don't... I, I really wish he would have checked if that had killed him, but... <laughs> he probably... He probably would have, but... You always got to make sure. I don't know. I'm... I'm saying like 99%. Yeah, that, that would have killed. Yeah, yeah. well, like, I, I'm saying it, it more than likely would have, but I, I really think it's important to check. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> on is. The last at, at least at those iffy percents. Yeah. Okay, but okay, so we are on Mars Story right now. Yep. And the counter and the forward air, and yeah, that's it. That's, you two that's, king. That is a textbook Marth edge guard, pretty much. Nice yep. movement coming out of Iceman. Both players have really strong ball. Well, that could have potentially yeah. been extremely dangerous for that Goku. That was great DI, though. He was like, I, I want out of this. I want out of this right now. Went to the ledge. Yep. Very smart. Oh my goodness, that grab. <laughs> that was a fantastic grab. Yeah, he, he? he just read the aggression straight up. He was able to grab out of there. Take. Is that death? No. Well, up there, Very good right. DI. That's he still had his jump. Not yeah, gonna do it. Killer. It's gonna go. All right. So he still has his jump and Randall this time. So that's gonna almost guarantee him to come back on stage at least. Yeah. Nice back air coming out of my man. He's looking actually really solid right now. He's trying to. He's trying to Ooh. defeat the demon right now. Fat Goku. Oh, <laughs> that was. So cool. All right. So now, now we're four stocks to do. He's doing a lot of great Marth stuff right now. As far as the textbook stuff goes, he's definitely on point right now. Oh, he just barely missing the back reverse hit of back air. That would have been a legendary. Can put the shot, guys. Yeah. Alright, that's gonna yeah. Yep, so he was up a full stock regardless. So, you know, that, that kill's not gonna be too detrimental to his to his play at all. And oh my god, this could be death. Yep. Ooh. That's that's the that's the exact combo I saw. <laughs> oh man. So this is not this is this Ooh. is what I was talking about, where Iceman just decides, alright, I'm gonna turn it up for like 15, 20 seconds, sometimes a whole match, he just turns it up. And he's like, all right, this is how good I really am. <laughs> Let me show you my final form. Yeah, Fat Goku trying to hold it down, making, trying to make this comeback at it. You know, you can't really ever give up, because if you give up, that might actually hit you for the next game. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that, uh, that DI on the upsell was insane. And you know, I I really don't see Steven ever giving up against Iceman because he has such a good record against him that I don't think his confidence will be shot by losing a game or even getting three stocked. Yeah. 
And you know that was also on a very Marth centric stage. <laughs> yeah. So it was it was it was a very it was a very strong time for him to be three stocked. I feel like against the Marth. Uh, the only other time would be like FD. And you see that Steven's doing a lot of that. He's just going. I'm gonna go back to the center of the stage. Nice. Iceman able to get around the uh, possible shine spike. I'm playing a very strong spacing game right now. See that? Look at that. That dash is. Oh my god. He was just like maybe a pixel off the, the tip of range. Ooh, Ooh. yep. That, that roll was had, had to happen right there. Oh! Yep. Could something this be death? Gutsy. That's going to be death. I'll tell you something right now. He's got his jump left. Just got to make it happen. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Over 100%. Nice man wasn't going to make it happen. <laughs> Fat Goku knew. Now he's going to rack up the percent. All right. All right. This is no? probably like death. Yeah. yeah. Try to go for the very, very exact angle, but you know, extremely hard at that time. Nice. It goes for the early. I love those. It, as a fox, it's so great to just grab Marth and up air him right away. Up throw, up air right away. They're not expecting it at those early percents. Yeah. So their smash DI isn't always on point. Very nice. Unfortunate roll from Iceman. That basically opened that exact option up for Fat Goku. And he did it. Did what he needed to. Closed it out. Up throw. Gonna get the tech. Yeah, see, this is the problem with the platform thing going on. Yeah, and this is like, of all the transformations that could have happened, this is easily the best one for Ooh, Iceman. That was a tipper dancing blade. He's gotta grab the ledge. Very good for Iceman. So, no matter what keeps happening, it's still even. It's just so close between these two players right now. Yeah, right Iceman. Now, Steven giving up the edge. Again, well, he did for a second. I think what he's trying to do there is just lull his opponent into a false sense of security when he goes back to center stage. Oh, yeah, like that. Ooh, not quite, <laughs> yeah, like that. And then he goes, okay, come get me. And they're like, oh, he gave up the edge. I can oh, come back on now. Oh, he DI'd into the second hit Ooh. of up air. Wow. Back, or, I mean, uh, Iceman with the mistake there. Looking for something different, I assume, than what Fat Goku went for. So, Fat Goku recognizing that, trying to pull it out right now. Iceman Ooh, has a lot of work cut out for him. That was a fantastic falling up air to get out of the combo. And you know, he doesn't go for the tipper right there, but he does go for a dolphin slash. He's, he's got to put him off stage at least. Nice. Oh, it doesn't Ooh. get the second jab, though. Very uncharacteristic of Iceman. Yeah, ooh, okay. Okay, Iceman's trying to make it happen. Gets another forward air. One more jab. Counter. No. Oh, that, that was, uh, I feel like he should have went for counter. Oh, he absolutely should have gone All for right. counter. Well, he did get forward throw to forward smash, so we, we're good. We're living. At that percent, <laughs> he definitely should not have gotten forward smash off of forward throw, but uh, maybe he was expecting enough throw. It was bad, throw. yeah, yeah, so. yeah. All right, Iceman. Oh, yeah, he's, wow, he's taking can. that bait. He's taking that bait right now. Iceman, he just wants to make it happen so bad that he's running. Oh, no. Oh, just, yeah, up here. Yeah, I, Iceman kind of beating himself up over that. <clears throat> he was so close right there. That was the exact potential situation that he needed. <clears throat> and he just could not close it out. Fat Goku keeping his composure, though. And that so was very, very close for Iceman. And he's hovering his cursor over FD right now. Yeah. Takes a drink and going in. This is, this is the stage. I mean, to be honest with you. <laughs> this is the stage we see pretty much every Marth go take a fox to. And take a... It's extremely strong. And there's a really good reason. Now, I was talking about this uh, matchup with uh, with Rezzer, Phil. Oh, no. Uh, he as we know. Himself. Oh, man. And the thing about uh, this matchup is whoever gets grabbed first is in a lot of trouble. Yes, Both definitely. of these guys can get a lot of a lot of grabs on each other. And the same is true on Final Destination. As long as Fox can get a launcher or some sort of a combo starter, oh, ooh, he missed the reverse fair. Then he can really lay into Marth. It's just that on this stage, Marth has the mobility advantage. And not only that, but it's 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 real easy for him to uh, to rack up that percent on Fox if he's in there, whereas Fox has to work a little bit harder than normal. Jab. Yep. Ooh, try to get the what reverse up B again. Iceman has messed up every single Marth edge guard so far. I think like I think the nerves are getting to him, and also he's he's going for these uh these non optimal edge guards, which is completely different from what we saw in the first two games. He was going for all the textbooks edge guards, all the ones that he knew were guaranteed, and now he's going for these weird uh like reverse up Bs and stuff. Yeah, it's looking like Iceman might be yeah okay. Gonna get the kill there, so it's totally doable here from here. Uh, you know, Final Destination being just the the great stage for Marth in terms of being able to edge guard Fox. Yeah, I mean, like, if he can get that grab and... Ooh, oh, that was so good from Fat Goku. He read the DI perfectly. But anyway, man, if, if he can get that grab and uh, really lay into those chain grabs, 
then he's going to have a chance. But uh, so far, okay, Fat, Goku, Fat Goku has really shown that he knows when to and when not to go in. Yep. And, okay. Oh, it clanked. It was a higher recovery, too. That was uh, that was the key to that. There was no fast fall there. Iceman definitely wanted the fast fall forward air. He's not going to be able to make it back. No, he is. He's trying to make it happen. Good forward airs right now. Iceman. This wouldn't be the first time I've seen a, uh, a Marth come back. Oh, nice. A Marth come back from a two-stock deficit on, inf on Final Destination. No, I mean, we've... We've all seen Mars come back from four, three, four stocks on Final Destination because of this right here. Oh, no tech from Fat Goku. That's really bad. Oh, and back air. Fat Goku's now at stage advantage. It could be old. Well, it could have been potentially pretty detrimental for Iceman. Ooh. Barely missing the up smash. Ice, er, Fat, Fat Goku's just going to be looking for that up smash all day now. <gasps> oh, man. Himself, oh, though. man. Okay, I got to... That could have been so good for Iceman. But, yeah, he was just a little bit too low. So Fat Goku's going to take it 3-1. <clears throat> and we are going to once again see in Grand Finals, 62-bit Bladewise versus Owen's Fat Goku. All right, can we see Fat Goku make the necessary adjustments to beat Bladewise? Or is he stuck in the, the, the down smash vortex? <laughs> what we saw earlier from Fat Goku to make it happen was a lot of passive play to force Bladewise into 